Hello and welcome to our unboxing for our Elowen Wild Wild Fashion Box subscription. We are so excited. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. How exciting is this? We are ringing in the new year with friends and we have a new virtual doll convention event happening and it is wild. And when I say wild, our set is a little extra crazy because we have so many dolls and so much stuff happening in here that we have to kind of crouch around like like frogs on lily pads to do our sets for a little bit but we know that you don't mind because these boxes are full of wonderful dolls from robert tonner which we are so excited about but let's get straight into our fashion of the month because we have a lot of fun things to talk about and we have 100 extra fashions for this box it is called Silken Shadows. This is an incredible bathrobe. This is the kind of bathrobe that I would want if I was going to get the most amazing bathrobe of my life. As the new year unfolds, Elowen Wild invites you to embrace the luxury of leisure in her latest vintage inspired creation, Silken Shadows. This sumptuous bathrobe ensemble, reminiscent of the golden era of Hollywood glamour, is designed to envelop Elowen in a cocoon of silky opulence, accentuated by the plush faux fur trim that whispers against the floor with every graceful step. Crafted from a lustrous fabric that mimics the finest silk, this set is a testament to the art of relaxation. The ensemble includes a pair of matching mules crowned with the same fuzzy trim as the robe, offering your Elowen the pinnacle of comfort in her dainty feet. Accompanying the robe and the mules is a charming vintage polka dot sleeping mask, ensuring your beloved doll's sleep remains undisturbed and as stylish as her waking hours. Each one of our subscribers will receive this set in a choice of pristine white or delicate pink, it's random, and the colors that reflect the pure essence of tranquility. For those who are drawn to the mystique of the night, we present the black bathrobe as an optional add-on, a nod to the timeless elegance that never fades. Silk and Shadows is not merely an outfit. It's a statement of sophistication and a promise of comfort that can be enjoyed within the sanctuary of home. Let your Elowen indulge in the art of lounging, for even in her moments of repose, she remains the epitome of style. So this is an incredible vintage bathrobe, a set of mules, you are receiving shoes inside your box, and a vintage eye mask. All of the references for everything is vintage from, from the 1960s. So we are very, very excited about this. This is, we put out a pajama set for Grace as our first box in 2021. And this is the second time we have put out bathwear, loungewear, and I just can't be more excited about it because everybody, every doll needs something like this. This is the kind of thing that I wish I wore around the house and to bed and up and making my coffee in the morning, but I definitely don't. I wear full on sweats, but I can live through the dolls. So my Elowen is at home in this robe and you're just going to love everything about it. I'm going to bring in Christopher towards the end because we're going to talk about the outfit and he's going to show you some tips and tricks for styling. This one definitely needs a little light uh, steam pressing, which we're putting in a pressing card inside your boxes for some tips on how to style and, and press your outfits. But let's talk a little bit more about our Wild Style Watch newsletter. So Dee did a wonderful job, our Dee in Brazil, and I just love the colors and the gold gilding on here. It is just absolutely beautiful. On the bottom of the Wild Style Watch, we have Golden Glamour, the bathrobe's Hollywood heyday. And we have the history of, the, of glamorous bathrobes, not just any old bathrobe, glamorous ones because that's that's what we do here and that's what Elowen likes. She always adds a touch of uh, uniqueness, glamour, whimsy. It's never it's never basic. She's too bored for basic fashion. It's always something it's always something pretty exciting. So we hope that she'll absolutely love this. So in the sparkling era of the golden age of Hollywood, the bathroom transcends its humble origins, becoming a symbol of sophistication and seduction. It was a time when screen sirens lounged in dressing rooms and personal boudoirs, draped in robes of silk and satin, their edges kissed with the soft caress of marabou feathers. We'll let you read the rest of it in the Wild Style Watch newsletter, but I... I think this is so much fun and I hope that you have fun with it too. Uh, joining into our 2024, this is such a fun outfit to start the new year. 
On the back of our newsletter, we have Chic Scenes with Elowin, your photo inspiration guide. This one's really fun because we came up with different ideas for, for you to stage your Elowin or your Nema or whatever doll you put this in. This bathrobe fits basically any fashion doll and you can have fun with it. So you can do Elowin with her enjoying her morning brew. Uh, you can do a spa day retreat or urban elegance. So there's just different ways that you can put her in different scenes and vignettes, which I think is so fun. My favorite one is the, the spa day retreat. And if if you look close on this, you can see little cucumbers that are on Elowin's eyes, which I think is so hysterical. And D, put cucumbers on your printables, which is going to come in your box this time. So you can cut out the little cucumbers and stick them on Elowin's eyes. It is so whimsical, so fun, so silly, and it is exactly what we want for you in your subscription boxes is to play and have fun. We want you to do that. I know it's hard to do that, but we're gonna make you. And then in the bottom, we have our wild style community. You guys know exactly what you're doing. We brought in some uh, beautiful photos from Betsy, Danielle, Kathy, Maria, Val. You guys knew the assignment when it came to styling your dolls. We try and choose. It's really hard to choose. We choose about four or five each time from the previous month. And you did it such a great job with your outfit from December. So thank you so much for your frosty fur photos. We have been enjoying them immensely. So before we talk about the paper doll, I want to reiterate, you are going to receive a surprise color inside your box. You're either going to receive the beautiful white or the light pink, and then we have the black version in the Elowin Boutique as an add-on if you would like an additional color or you'd like to buy a box if you're not in our subscription. So come on in, the water's warm. We'd love to have you. So. Um, let me know, let me know. Uh, we couldn't decide which color to make the add-on because we loved them all so much, but ultimately we decided to put the white and the pink inside the box. That's what you most see in robes, but then once I started really researching, they come in every color of the rainbow and people really, they really get into their bathrobes. It's a, it's a thing. But let's chat about uh, Dee's paper doll. It is so good. I don't actually have it. They're supposed to be delivered today, but we're gonna put it on the screen. Isn't this cute? We we have our Elowin and she is decked out in her Silk and Shadows paper doll with all of the things that she needs. So we have, there's a cup of milk for the nightstand. There is an alarm clock. There is a mirror, the perfume, the poodle, the box of chocolates, the, the, the lampshade. It is all so, so nice. Thank you so much, Dee. I love the, the Silk and Shadows paper doll. So in your subscription box, you're going to receive the paper doll. And then we are also going to give you a printable pack. So this one is really fun. In the boutique, we have a two page download printable pack. So it has even more downloads on it, but we're going to give you the first page because it has so many things that Elowin needs for her lounge day, for her spa day, for her me time. All right, we're going to put it on the screen, but I, but I pulled it up on my phone so I can show you some of the crafts. My favorite thing on this crafts page, again, is the cucumbers. You can put real cucumbers on her if you cut them real small, but these ones are adorable. So we have the cucumbers. We have a gift card to a spa day. You have printable mask. You have a massage room card. There's a banner that says VDC's Glamorous Spa. So many fun things to cut out and enjoy that go perfectly with the theme. So we're going to have that in the box too. And now let's talk about the fun addition that we have in the box. So it'll, it'll arrive like this, except you'll also have your paper doll and the other printable. And then in this little Ziploc, you're going to have your mules and your face mask right here, which is so dang cute. And then for you to enjoy a little spa day for yourself, we are including some hand cream and some lip balm. Who, who doesn't need hand cream and lip balm? I am always needing hand cream and lip balm. I carry it in my purse at all times. So we're putting that in your box to make it super fun. And then the bathrobe looks like this. It, it comes out and when you put it straight on out of the box, it still looks cute, but it looks so much better when you do some light pressing and get out some of those wrinkles. So make sure to do that. Again, we're gonna have a little pressing card instruction in there. And then our friend Barbara at Dolls Parts has little miniature irons that work great. We use them here and you can use those to get out the wrinkles on your doll clothes. We, we iron all of our doll clothes. It makes them look so much better. And then of course you'll have your wild style watch and it'll just be all, all sent to you and you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna bring in Christopher and we're gonna chat some fashion 
We're going to chat the add-ons, which we have a wonderful little slip that is inspired from Liz Taylor from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, a very iconic, luxurious, um, sexy moment for her. And we had to reproduce that slip for the bathrobe. So if you want to get the slip for underneath the bathrobe, we also have some other fun things in the Elowin Boutique right now. You can add them on and we will put them in your box and get it on out to you. So let's bring in Christopher and chat some fashion. Hi, Christopher. Hello. Thank you for this amazing set. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da. This is all so we've got. Uh, thank you. Um, I, I am so I am, I am so, so very, very excited about this month's box. Um, this was actually a, a variation of this uh, I, I pitched as an idea like over a year ago. And um, we sort of revisited it and reworked it and it didn't quite fit. Um, but we, we came back to this idea for this concept for Elowen for the subscription. And uh, one thing led to another and it's... It really is a dream come true. It's such a, a beautiful ensemble, and um, I know this isn't much to look at, but so hopefully you're not uh, you're not uh, too concerned about the set being that the the outfit I think is so incredible. Um, so this is Elowen's boudoir. This is her uh, her little bedroom that I sort of. Um, conjured up with pieces that we had just in the shop and uh, I wanted to sort of um, highlight in her wardrobe some other pieces that we've recently released and show her her canopy bed and and the feather pump uh, uh, the feather toe mules and um, I mean the fur and the earrings and, and th there are so many wonderful little details in this outfit that I hope you really really enjoy um, regardless of which variation you get um, I uh, I am known to be a fan of uh, an all-black ensemble. Um, I love a, a simple black turtleneck. It's very, I think, very timeless and classic, so I wear them all the time. Um, and when we were talking about color variations for this, I was like, well, what about, you know, what about black? And um, I think it's indulgent and uh, ridiculous and um, beautiful and frivolous and glamorous and um, so many of the things that I would describe Elowen as. Um, and, and I like to think that this is something that's very um, appropriate for her um, canonically and in spirit. And uh, I just, I'm very excited about this box. Well, I absolutely love it. And you did such a fun job styling the dolls. Thank you. They, um, they do, as you'd mentioned, they do require um, a, a fair bit of pressing. Um, it's not satin, it's not silk, but it's, it's really close. And um, if you know anything about those fabrics, they tend to crease really easily. Um, I would say if you, you could steam this, but I would recommend just a dry press um, with an iron. Um, be cautious as you are to try to avoid too much of ironing the actual fur itself. It's not real, it's synthetic fur. So if you think about like flat ironing synthetic doll hair, it would sort of just melt. I would refrain from getting too close maybe um, to, to pressing that fur. But um, this was so fun to style and so fun to photograph. Um, the fabric is very... Um, responsive both in texture and in um, sort of a reflective property and uh, so if you're looking for something that feels really really elevated very glamorous very um, both sophisticated and uh, sort of um, I don't know it feels a little bit rich to me you know like Elowen has a, uh, uh, what, a trust fund or something and I think this feels very appropriate for her in that way that she can um, you know use her her money as she sees fit. <laughs> Well, let's talk about the colors. Let's yeah. Let's start with the pink. So, this is a really beautiful pale, like a petal pink. Um, it's a, I would describe this as like a warmer shade of pink. It's not quite bubblegum and it's not quite peachy, but it does lean a little bit warmer than it does uh, cooler like bubblegum. Um, this is so beautiful. Um, if you've seen any of our videos before, you know that I am a very, very big fan of pink. <laughs> um, it sort of comes with the territory of being a Barbie fan, I suppose. And this is just about everything in my apartment is this shade of pink. It's so beautiful. Um, so when we got this in with the eye mask and the, the uh, fur toe mule, I just, just about came undone. It's beyond. Um, it's nice because it's a... Uh, Again, sort of a very versatile shade of pink. It's one that we've issued similarly before. And if you wanted to pair this with the um, white nighty or the black one, those slips just really pair nicely with, with any color, but, but in, including the pink for sure. Um, same thing with the masks. If you are going to purchase um, the black in addition to one of your other box outfits, each 
uh, robe, it gets a coordinating pair of shoes, and sleeping mask. Um, you can sort of mix and match those as you see fit. Uh, we are offering my favorite one as an add-on for um, any box. So if you want to, there's actually, there are three robes and there are four mask variations. So you can actually sort of tack on another one into your wardrobe if you'd like to for your collection. Um, and I think they're all very fitting, but um, I, I, I love the pink naturally. I love the black. Um, white is something you can wear for any time of year, any occasion. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna go all the way and be nuts with a, a you know silk fur robe, um, then you might as well find any excuse to wear one. This is a very um, indulgent, romantic, maybe Valentine's Day sort of ensemble. It's great for the winter season. Um, it's silky, so it's also really comfortable for summertime. And I think white is a color you can wear all year round. Um, really, really striking on Nema. It's just as flattering on Elowen, and um, I don't know, I, I think this is such a a knockout as far as um, just visual presentation. I think it's very pretty, um, but also it's, it's I think, necessary for her wardrobe. We've done so many other pieces that are um, maybe more casual or maybe more formal that she would wear for particular occasions, but at the end of the day, Elowen goes home and she wants to, you know, relax in bed and um, uh, languish, you know, with her cat and be, um, you know, um, yearning for something more, and what better to do that in than a satin fur trim robe. Do you remember that day when we saw the sample of these shoes and I just cracked up because I was like, <laughs> what is our job? Like, yeah, I mean, it feels that way. It, you know, there are so many days that feel like a total daydream. It's so funny. And, um, and I was d really determined to get a, a, a fuzzy shoe to go with this, and they could not, I, I don't think they could be more perfect. Um, they're, they're just silly enough. And actually, the fur on them is quite long, so it feels extra indulgent and extra <laughs> ridiculous um, for her to be traipsing around in this in her, you know, grandmother's mansion. And um, I don't know, I, I hope that this, if, if no other outfit has in enlightened you to do so, that this is a really nice, inspiring piece for you to enjoy some imaginative play, something that's immersive and um, frivolous for the sake of frivolity. Um, just have fun with it. It, it. This has no practical purpose. This is simply for fun, and I think that is very on brand for Elowen. And um, and I see, you know, a little bit of myself in her that way. I, uh, I love a ridiculous... Um, frivolous, uh, fluffy, feminine, wonderful, indulgent outfit, and um, and one that serves no other purpose than just to feel good in. Um, I think it's a natural piece for the subscription for her. I love it. So let's chat real quick about the bathrobes, which are inspired by Liz Taylor, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. What's the fit like? The Not slips? Not the bathrobes, I'm sorry, the slips. Yeah, uh, it's really stretchy. It's really... Um, it just goes right on. Actually, there's no clasp, there's no um, button or zipper or, or anything. It's just one fitted piece. Um, I think it's probably easier to pull on feet first than it is over the head, um, but it's just a really, really lax, easy, comfortable, simple slip that um, if you wanted to, I mean, it's very thin. You could wear this under any garment just to have, um, you know, an undergarment for, for yourself to know about, you know, it's, it's part of the fun of dressing dolls. Um, but I think they're, they're natural um, accompanying pieces for the robes. Um, these are, they're, they're very, very easy to get on. And um, I think they, of course, I think the robe stands by itself if, if you know, you're not wearing anything else. Um, but if you want to pair this with pantyhose or, or socks, we actually have some socks for you. Um, there are various sort of accessories that I think you can make a whole outfit out of with multiple pieces. Um, it's, it's a great mixing and matching piece. We have them in black and we have them in white, so you can match them with a robe or you can invert those colors or again pair them with pink um the black as it is uh is is the robe and the shoes and the mask but we're also offering the beautiful oversized black velvet bow that we uh, we actually put out these earlier for the very first month with Elowen um, in different colors. So we're sort of revisiting a color here. You can uh, add these on. You can also get these beautiful sort of um, 1920s uh, art deco fabulous earrings. Um, very, very ornamental and uh, they catch light really nicely so sometimes you'll see like a disco ball reflection onto her cheek or uh, you know whatever she's wearing they're really they're very pretty and they got a great movement um, and then if you look down here we've actually got the black lace socks 
um, that we're repairing with this as well. So all those pieces are separate, but I wanted to show you what it looked like with pink because they're they're just as lovely there. And this would be a great um, accompanying piece with the black slip or, or um, you know, variation of eye mask, what have you. There are lots of ways to sort of play with those mixing and matching pieces. And finally, what did it feel like? What was it like styling this new Nima? Uh, <laughs> I was I was hoping you would ask. Um, this doll is so exciting to me. Um, first of all, she's breathtaking. Like facially, she's so she's Nima. She's gorgeous. But this hair is beyond. Um, it is a rooted afro. She will be released um, as, as this video airs. She'll be coming out very shortly. Um, and uh, it comes compact as most doll wigs do. It's not, you know, like shrunk wrapped in by any means, but I would say um, like any coarse textured curly hair uh, would otherwise require uh, anyway, this is going to need some, some fluffing through with a pick or maybe um, a, a uh, the needle of a teasing comb, whatever you have. Um, this is so beautiful. It's a, a multicolor, um, like a deep dark cocoa and uh, coffee color blend for fiber. Um, the texture is more of a kind of like an, uh, an S shape or a zigzag shape than it is a coil, so it's really fun to get a very voluminous texture out of. Um, and if you wanted to fully comb through this for like a very soft, smooth globe, you could, something that's really, really tailored. But also if you want something a little bit more textured, a little bit more um, spongy almost, it will give you so many ways to play with. Um, she, is, she is just wonderful. So uh, we've had lots of um, <laughs> excited, positive perception about her. Um, mark your calendars set a timer, don't forget, she will be going very quickly, um, and I will be very excited to see uh, what she looks like in your own home with your own other Elo and, and Nima collections. Um, she is a, a knockout as far as I'm concerned. Thank you so much, Christopher. Thank that you. That was fun. <laughs> well, there you have it. What a blast. I had so much fun with this box unveiling, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you to Dil Hermando de Assis, who is in Brazil and did our artwork for this box. It is so beautiful. Thank you to our factories and to all of our wonderful subscribers. We love you so much. It's the new year. It's 2024. It's time to celebrate and to usher in the new year and all of the wonderful things that it can bring. Uh, being in a doll community and having like-minded friends to chat about this stuff with and to do it with, whether you're buying things or, or just joining the discussion, we appreciate and love you so very much. Before we close out this video, I'm going to take you back and we're going to go look at Paul because he has been working so hard popping up your boxes and it's so fun sometimes to give you the behind the scenes footage of what it actually takes to produce and to put out a doll subscription. It's a lot and we love doing it. So let's go see what Paul's up to and then join me soon for more Toast to 24 content. We are so just thrilled to be here and uh, happy new year everybody. We love you so much. Let's go see what Paul's up to. Here's our buddy Paul who has been working so hard back here in shipping. These are the boxes that you have put up just today. How's it going, Paul? It's going pretty good. How about you? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. We appreciate all of your hard work back here. I appreciate the work. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're doing real nice. What What are we working on right now? Uh, we're getting the, the hand, oh. hand lotion. Yep. And the lipstick. We're doing the rest of that. Yep, the chapstick. The chapstick. So all of these things, all of the things that you receive, uh, take take a significant amount of time. And that's what Paul has been working on this entire week. So by the time this airs, these will all be finished, and we they will be on their way to you very soon. Do you want to wish our friends out there a happy new year? Happy new year, and many many more to come. Many more to come. I yeah. love it. All right, bye.